What's up everybody? I'm back. Sorry I haven't put out any content for a while. Had myself a little trip to the mainland. Back here at home. There's no place like home. Now I'm ready to bring out some more content for you guys. We're going to start off with this house listed by Julie Ching and Dennis Yates of Keller Williams Kauai. I'm Mike Drutar, your guide for all things real estate, principal broker and owner of Next Home Paradise Realty. This house is listed at 1.5 million, three bedrooms, three baths, 2,234 square feet, pool, three car garage, solar system, solar heater for the pool. This is a great one. I'm going to take you inside. I'm going to tell you the three things I like best about this house and the one thing I would add if I bought it. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing that I notice is we got some really good rock wall work done here. That's done and brought up the elevation of the home a little bit. And this is a large lot. It actually backs up to, I guess that's Queen K, Kuakini, up beyond those trees there. And this lot is all that whole hillside. So there's a number of things that you can do. And you can see they put steps going all the way up to tend to the flowers. I got some. I don't know if those are perennials or annuals. Let me know in the comments below uh, out there. But you can put some fruiting trees and stuff like that if you want. Good rock wall work on the terracing down here. And then starting off with the exterior, some really good features that you're going to want to notice right away. We're fully guttered. We got nice asphalt, asphalt shingles. Big three car garage. I'm going to take you inside of that for sure. I like the nice woodwork that they did on the doors. Nice sconces that they have here on the outside for your lights and down our side yard it looks really nice and manicured and they actually used a textured wood paneling there instead of just using some green rock or sheet rock comes out really good we're stucco on the exterior fully guttered like I mentioned and I like this nice super large ohia post perfectly stained to match the dual front door with the etched glass uh, good job on that and then final look around right here you know if you're gonna have to come in all the way around behind the house and then pull in you need to have a spot to back out and they have that set right there we're on uh, an open house day so you are gonna hear a few folks as we're going so long as that doesn't bother you we are good to go so let's take a look inside here and this is not a typical Ali'i Heights home this has been customed out. So I'm going to stand here at the front door and show you a few things. One, you'll notice the ceiling treatment with the recessed lights up there. We got can lights in the ceiling. And I believe those recessed lights look like they're on an LED. I can check for sure. Got three ceiling fans. Nice wood trim that they did around there on that ceiling accent. Matching really well with the blinds and the cover for those. Look at how they did some work on that. I'll check that out a little bit closer and then coming down we have 24 by 24 tile I'm sorry travertine with super tight grouts grout lines here they did a great job on that so it looks great and you see this throughout the home three inch baseboards so up the top here we're looking at 10 foot ceilings central air conditioning system you can see that there and then you have these large sliders basically taking up that whole wall leading you right out to the pool I'm gonna get to that in a minute Let's come over here. We'll see how this is set up. Now, this is really interesting because they have, hey guys, there I am in the mirror with my hat. Um, bedroom here, the bathroom here. If you want to make this another master, you could just put it right there, have dual owner suite. Check out the bathroom in here. Large mirrored all the way across. Dual sinks. Like the work that they did on that. Dovetail joints. Soft clothes. Perfect. Privacy door here, there for the water closet. And then a zero threshold entry into the shower. Excellent job on that. And bonus points tile all the way up to the ceiling. You guys know I like that. It's a big deal. I just get driven. It drives me crazy when the tile stops right there. Just put it all the way up. And they did it. So good job here on the shower as well. And this isn't even the best shower in the house. I'll show you the best one here in the dedicated owner's suite in a few minutes. Coming in here to this bedroom, 
Look at a nice job they did on that. We got what looks like a queen size bed. We got about four feet on either side of the bed, so plenty of space. You could fit an Eastern King in here, no problem. And a large walk-in closet. A lot of times people will go with cheaper carpet here in the closets. They did a good job. They kept that travertine tile all the way through. Like it. Plenty of storage space in here. I think you're looking at about eight foot by four foot, maybe even a little bit larger. And then we got our slider going out here to what is essentially the front yard and the pool there. And you can see the solid wood valance and the work that they did on that. Nice attention to detail. And then check out the shades here. Perfect. And that's what they have here instead of vertical blinds as well. So great job on that. Also recessed lights in here as well. We got that same ceiling fan set up. We got a register for our, our vent for our central air conditioning system. And then let's come in here to our main room. Good size here. You could have a nice size party. Uh, great job on the main room in the house. This whole area looks to be, I'm just estimating, I don't have my trusty little laser measure yet, but I think we're looking at a good 28 by 30 or so. And of course, open floor plan here in the kitchen, living, dining. This is what we're looking for. We got about a 10 foot long uh, solid surface. I believe that's a quartz countertop. Could be a granite. With your sink planted right there in the island. And then a good good job keeping this all single level. It keeps it uh, makes it flow a little bit better, not having that visual barrier. They got these light, nice four large stools. You could probably fit a little bit more in there if you want. Uh, refrigerator side by side. Refrigerator. Like this little area here, perfect spot to put your coffee maker. Good size on the pantry. Look at that built-in that they got here on this door. Excellent. And then plenty of really well-built storage, no wire racks in there. They did an excellent job with this three-inch tile backsplash. It really matches really seamlessly with the travertine that they have on the floor. Nice attention to detail on that. And then again, they didn't stop it here, 12 or 18 inches. They have it going all the way up, even behind the vent for the GE Profile glass cooktop. Excellent job on that as well. We have a Samsung stainless steel dishwasher and Bosch. Excellent. On the oven and the microwave, which is a convection. And you're seeing a lot of higher ends do that now. So excellent job on that. Nice other little feature. I like clean lines and this has that. So what do you do for your garbage disposer? Well, Got you a little button right there. Perfect. Excellent job. Really, really good attention to detail on this one. Super stoked. All right, let's come back to the other wing of the house. We have a few nice features. I like this, I like this uh, hallway here. A great place to put some artwork, family photos, things like that that might be important to you. I'm gonna come all the way down. I'm gonna work from the back and then come forward and finish up with the pool for you guys. So here's the three car garage on the inside. So we got the two car garage door there, the one car garage door at the end. You hear that? That's electricity being generated by the two dual solar photovoltaic systems that come in here and fill up these batteries. That's really cool. And then they did a good job on the storage solutions here. Check that out. You have all this vertical space in your garage that often doesn't get used. And they've got a couple things set up here. So excellent job on that. I'll check it out. Water softener, we don't see that very often. I believe it's a water softener. It could be an RODI system. Not 100% sure on that. Excellent job in here in the garage. And of course you notice the epoxy flooring. 
dedicated utility washer dryer super large sink granite countertops in here and plenty of storage put your christmas items if you have that extra sheets and comforters for guests good things like that excellent to have storage there so this is our third bedroom again we have a queen size bed in here could easily fit an eastern king no problem looking at about 12 by 14 maybe even a touch larger we got our walk-in closet over there same ceiling fan recessed light same shades uh, on the windows they did an extra excellent job maintaining the continuity throughout the home and then coming in here into our owner's suite first we have an extra large closet i think we're about five by 14. lots of space in here we have a good built-in and again they didn't go cheap by doing carpet in the closets which a lot of people will do to save a few dollars here and there when you see people doing that level of detail you know there's a lot of other things that have been done correctly this is a massive owner suite. We have an Eastern King size bed there. You could put another one on this wall if you want and still have four, six feet somewhere, uh, something like that in between. So lots of space. And they have an extra split here. Now, a lot of people will do this. Yeah, you have central AC, but that's gonna do the whole house, right? What if you just need to be a little bit cool for when you sleep at night? The split system there is going to be much more efficient instead of having to cool the whole house, which you're not using because you're sleeping. We got a slider here leading outside, a, du a dual slider opening leading outside on that, that wall there. We're gonna come around though and check out this bathroom and I really, really dig what they've done here. Massive mirror down this wall. We're looking at about a 12 foot span here. Dual sinks, plenty of space, plenty of storage. Little attention to detail down here. They could have sheetrocked that little kick there underneath the cabinets they use the travertine excellent excellent attention to detail and then massive work on the travertine all the way up to the ceiling through this huge shower dual head i mean look at that that is awesome this is what a shower should be uh, you don't see this at this price point we're listed at 1.5 i know they probably already got offers well, they said they got offers already and i totally believe them uh, i expect this to go over list we're not seeing this level of quality construction at this price point. Yes, it's Ali'i Heights, but this is a custom home in Ali'i Heights. We've got our jetted tub over there. I like it. And now I know you guys wanted to come outside. This is where you're going to spend a bunch of your time anyway. I just lock it. Now I unlocked it. Slider is moving really, really well. Yeah, slider goes well. We got that same travertine outside. Good work on that. We got these shades up here for if the sun is a little too strong in the evening for you. Goes all the way around. Excellent size on the pool. We look to be about 14 by 32. That's just an estimate. And they have added, uh, the plaster is a blue plaster, so it makes the color of the pool really pop. Now straight across the street, you do have some neighbors here. Your view is into town. You can see Kailua Bay down there. And then you have a little peekaboo ocean view down on the left side. Good work on the Ohia post here. We saw that in the front. I like that they continued that around here in the back. I'll point out that all the wood trim that I saw throughout the house, whether it was in the kitchen, uh, the front door, the Ohia post, they all match up really well. Nice attention to detail on that. Huge, huge, huge covered lanai area here. You could do a lot out here. There's a lot of space. Um, this is really good because when that afternoon sun, we're facing west over here, when that afternoon sun comes through, if you don't have a big covered lanai, it just comes blasting in these windows and it heats up your house. By having this big covered lanai, it allows you to keep your house open without using the AC a good month or two longer in the year uh, really really helps out huge amount of space all right so the three things oh we got an outdoor shower here 
I would say it's an outdoor rinse because if you're truly showering, your neighbors are either gonna love you or not like you at all. Um, but you can maybe put up another wall right here if you wanted. All right, my three favorite things about this house. And the one thing I would add. Number one, the travertine flooring throughout. 24 inch travertine tile is uh, a bit extra, darn near large format. And the fact that they used it everywhere in the house, they didn't go cheap and uh, save it in little areas like the closets. So the number one thing I like about this, this house is the travertine. The number two thing I like about this house is back in here, it's this, it's this owner's bath. With this dual shower head, his and hers, or whatever, uh, over there, that's awesome. And you got so much space with the bench. I, I just, I totally dig the setup that they have there on that. That's my second favorite thing about the house. And then number three, this massive outdoor lanai area. You end up spending so much time out here in Hawaii. When you have friends over, you, unless it's just the hottest, you know, four months of the year, um, maybe three months of the year, you will often gravitate out here, especially after the sun goes down. I love the space that they have here. I love how it's set up. Um, and it really flows well with inside, and the living area has a lot of space as well. So that's my third favorite thing. And then the one thing I would add, I put a little outdoor kitchen right there. That's my one addition to this house. And man, I think you're set after that. You are an entertaining fool out here. This is the party house, but with quality. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you again soon.